Sarton. I'm the owner of Sarton Physical Therapy. We are so excited that you are embarking on your healing journey with us. We really want to walk you through some of the basic things to expect during your first exam. For a lot of women coming in for their initial evaluation, it can be very daunting. They don't know what's going to happen, so we want to calm all those fears down and we want to get you as best prepared as we can so that it's a very positive experience for you. So after you've made the phone call and you've talked to our front desk, the, the next step that's going to happen is our front desk will send you a very extensive packet of paperwork. This is really important that you fill this out. Ours happens to be nine pages long. This provides us with tremendous information about your problem. So please take time to fill this out. If you can fax or email this into us before, that's great. If not, if you can show up early for your visit and give this to the front desk, this will be given to your physical therapist so we can review this in detail. So this helps set the stage for us as we're coming in to meet you. We wanna understand everything we can about your problem. This form is gonna ask you very detailed questions about your bowels, your bladder, um, your medical history. There's a form on here that helps us map out your pain presentation. So um, again, golden nugget. Once you've filled this out, once the physical therapist, your physical therapist has reviewed this, the next step is they get to meet you in person. So typically we'll bring you back into a room just like this. You keep all your clothes on and we just want to meet you and we're gonna review this and we're gonna ask you questions. And our biggest goal at this point is we wanna hear your story. We wanna hear what's happened to you up to date, what's worked, what hasn't worked to help you. Uh, we wanna, as our role as the detective, put the pieces of the puzzle together of what you're experiencing. So this helps guide our treatment. So we will spend time, a good probably 20 minutes or so talking, um, learning more about you and your particular pelvic floor dysfunction and the presentation you present with. After we go through that and ask you specific questions, I'm then, or your physical therapist then, will actually take some time and explain what the pelvic anatomy is like. Uh, before we go through an exam, you need to understand exactly what we're going to be doing. So we'll take another probably eight to 10 minutes to review anatomy. Not that you need to be an expert, but it's a crash course, anatomy 101. So you truly understand what your pelvic floor is, the musculature at the basement of the pelvis. A lot of women and men don't understand exactly that these, where these muscles are, what they do, um, and that they even exist. So once we go through anatomy and we start putting, again, for you to understand the pieces of the puzzle together, then we're gonna move into the actual objective exam part. So at this point, your physical therapist will step out and you as the patient get to get changed into a gown. Um, we're gonna just demonstrate with clothes on, not changed in, with a patient changed into a gown, just what the next steps would be for your physical therapy evaluation. So I'm going to have you turn and just face the window over here, and we wanna see what's happening. We wanna get a big picture. How are you stacked? What, again, is happening with the position of your spine, your pelvis, your hips? We're gonna ask you to do some simple range of motion. Uh, movements where I'm gonna have you bend forward to touch your toes. We're gonna look and see what happens with that, how much motion you have. We're gonna have you move in different directions as we're putting our pieces of the puzzle together. Okay, we're gonna have you do some special tests now to see what happens with your sacroiliac joints, your ability to change. Go ahead and lift one leg and stand on one leg like you're, you know, I want you to march just like you're in a marching band. Forces coming through the pelvis balance. We would look and see what's happening at a fascial layer. So superficially, your connective tissue in your fascia through your abdomen, through the legs, the lateral, the anterior, the inner thighs. What's happening actually up through the head? What's how, what breathing patterns are you using? Okay. And after that, we'll go through very specifically the next layer, a muscular layer. And we're going to come in and palpate very key muscles that surround the bony pelvis. So we'll do that systematically. We're looking to map out trigger point presence, muscle restriction. We're looking at scars that may exist in the abdomen or anywhere around the pelvis or through the spine. So we have a, a layer of connective tissue. We have a layer of muscle, okay? And then we're gonna take a look after that at what's happening internally. The internal exam, if you are not ready for it, if you are not comfortable, we don't proceed to it. 
It does open up a new dimension though, what we can see what happens with the internal pelvic floor. This is very much like an ob exam, except they tend to look at the organs. We are mapping out the pelvic floor musculature. So at this point, we don't use stirrups. We position you very comfortably on the table. We can have your knee bent, okay? I, as a therapist, will sit alongside you and just relax. We glove up and we come internal gently and map out all these muscles. We see what the tone, resting tone of the musculature is. Is Are the muscles hypertonic and short? Are they lengthened and weak? Um, how strong are they? How much do they lengthen out? So we look at all sorts of different things. Um, we look at just the, the structural anatomy as well of the vulva. So at that point then, if needed, we will turn a patient over and we're gonna look through the backside. We're gonna assess position of the tailbone, position of this bone, the sacrum, and up through the spine. After that, we get a good picture of what's happening inside and outside of the pelvis. So the physical therapist steps out, you get to get dressed as the patient, we'll let you sit up. And when you're ready, you crack the door and your physical therapist will come back in and discuss all your findings and put together a plan of action for you. We're making sure that we um, integrate what your goals are, what you're here for, and then we put the plan of care into place. And that's different for everybody depending on what we find, how long you've had your symptoms. Then we'll walk you up to the front desk and we will get you scheduled. So um, your plan may be uniquely different than somebody else's plan walking in here. It may be with just the physical therapist that you are seeing or it may include some of our ancillary services, which would include Pilates, massage, guided imagery, um, to augment what we're trying to achieve for you and your goals. Okay, so hopefully that calms some of the fears and you have a much better sense of what's gonna happen as you step into the office on your healing journey.